Yo, uh, what is good, everyone? Um, this is your boy, Coach De Niro. Um, I'm back here with this video that was originally uh, going to be posted uh, yesterday, uh, which was Wednesday the 4th. Um, but when I went back to look at the additional footage that I got from capturing uh, off of the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4, um, well, that footage, it got corrupted. So I thought about just uh, redoing that video, um, trying to get the footage back. But instead, I figured, you know what, why not just try to keep the video shorter uh, anyway, uh, especially since the test did not go exactly uh, how I wanted it to go. Um, but yeah, here we have like just an uh, uh, unboxing. I'm not an unboxing channel. Uh, so the unboxing is going to be very, very uh, mediocre. <laughs> this is the first time I've done anything like it. So the lighting, everything that you can think of is horrible. Camera's not that great. Um, but yeah, you know, let me stop trashing uh, my, my video before you guys even, even watch it. Um, but more so, uh, before I get off into anything, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, there is no sponsor. You guys are the sponsor. So, so, so don't forget that. You guys are, are the sponsor. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what I'm going to do with future plans in the channel. We are uh, one week exactly from the release of PlayStation 5, which I will have mine the very minute that they let me. I already have an appointment to pick one up from Best Buy uh, at 6 in the morning. So... Um, six in the morning, West Coast time, Pacific Standard. So I have mine um, next Thursday. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll definitely be back putting up more regular content. You know, just, just like I said, you know, if you want to hear about the stuff that I'm going to do, then, you know, you can watch towards the end of the video. Um, but let me just tell you about the test that I did and tell you about my insight on the DualSense PlayStation 5 controller. Um, the PlayStation 5 controller, it definitely felt great. Um, I'll tell you for sure, uh, it is a little heavier than the DualShock 4. But as far as the way that it feels, you know, the concern of, oh, it looks, you know, a little, you know, too big now and, it doesn't look like a traditional PlayStation remote. Oh no, it 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 feels great in hand. Um, like I said, it is a little bit heavier, but that's something that you know uh, over time using the controller, you're really not going to notice. Just like how the DualShock Four was heavier than the DualShock Three, and you know over time you just get used to the controller from everyday use. So the controller felt great, it looks great. Um, you know, the buttons feel good. Uh, the, the R2, L2, uh, you know, L1, R1, those feel, feel great. It feels like an extremely high quality remote. It does feel better. Um, what I looked at, which I'm looking at right now, uh, in the original audio of the video was going over the fact that uh, currently, we don't have an, an attachment for uh, paddles like they did the uh, DualShock 4 attachment. Um, so we don't have that uh, quite yet and there's no way to use the previous one for the current controller, but they do have a patent which I can imagine um, they'll probably be releasing or giving us some sort of update within the next six months as they start to roll out more things that you know they don't want to get ahead of themselves too much um, but yeah so back into uh, what I was saying about the uh, test that I did I connected um, my DualShock 4 to a PlayStation 3 and you can use that DualShock 4 on your PlayStation 3 so I figured you know what since the DualShock 4 became backwards compatible are the yeah backwards compatible then let me try with the dual sense so when i connected the dual sense to the playstation 3 it did uh c connect properly when i plugged it in through the usb and it was very functional okay so then i paired it through uh 
the the Bluetooth. And if you don't know how to do that, it's really simple. Um, even even with the DualShock a Four, whether you're connecting it to a PlayStation Four, PlayStation Three, or even the the PlayStation Five, all you have to do is hold the home button which is the PlayStation button and share and what you'll do is you'll hold it for a few seconds and then you'll see the LED in the controller begin to blink and then that means that it's in search mode for pairing so you go to uh, the sex settings and you look for Bluetooth devices I mean you, you guys should be able to figure it out um, there's the step-by-step -step, you know if you just google it you know I don't want to you know sit here and explain the entire thing um, but more so I was able to pair it with the PlayStation 3 and then when I went to go try and start a game um, it kept disconnecting so it doesn't work at the moment so then I moved on to PlayStation 4 and tried to connect to PlayStation 4 and rather I hooked it in through the USB cord and even after I paired it to the PlayStation 4, it just offered no functionality whatsoever. So at the moment, as it's constructed, there is no way to use the DualSense on anything other than PlayStation 5 at the moment. Um, I assume that that will eventually change because, again, like I said, the DualSense is a higher quality remote, um, so it feels more sturdy. Would it will probably end up happening just like with the DualShock 4 to the PlayStation 3 is that there won't be any rumble functionality, which is perfectly fine because a lot of games that you know, like for instance, that I play anyway, I turn off the vibration. So it, it it's for me there's there's no change if there's no uh you know functionality there for, for rumble. Um, but obviously, you know, that's going a little too far, understanding that enough of the games that are on PlayStation 4 will be backwards compatible on PlayStation 5. You probably probably never have to even do that. But, you know, I also thought that was going to be the case with PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 3, but, you know, it ended up not being backwards compatible. And then, yeah, you know, long long story short. So anyway... Um, as far as what I'm going to be doing with the channel, um, I'm going to be rebranding, changing the name, uh, you know, I re will reveal that when I receive the PlayStation 5, and I'm going to do a stream on YouTube, I'm going to do a stream on Twitch, so, uh, whichever one you can make it to, beautiful, love it, perfect, appreciate you in every shape and form, this is just, just me showing, you know, appreciating you in advance, to the the few people that will show up um I, I really really appreciate that support from the future uh but yeah there i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna be doing a little more gaming and showing and sharing opposed to uh what i previously was doing which was just solely trying to deliver some some form of content um that i really wasn't excited about which was, you know, like uh, going over stuff with, with 2K and, you know, maybe a little GTA here and there. And, and, and it wasn't about me enjoying the game. And I play games for, for the enjoyment. So, you know, it, it just makes sense for me to just say, you know what, let me not do this. And that's part of why I took off for, for a year. Let me not do this. But now we got a new console coming out. I'm excited to game again. Um, I'll probably, you know, probably do some tips, some stuff like that. But more so, I might be more interested in either just regular gameplay um, or walkthroughs, you know, stuff like that. I don't intend on doing any more uh, glitch videos. And, you know, I'm going to move on more to variety, you know, variety streaming, which was our you know variety content which was not what i was doing um for instance i played fortnite which i'm not very good at so i don't have a reason to deliver that content or make videos or stuff i don't have like these 30 kill 
games and you know i don't have this insight i'm not jerrying or anything like that where i'm going to give you all this insight on how to play the game but i do enjoy it from time to time with friends and more so i believe i can enjoy playing that game with any viewers any subscribers so stuff like that you know i i'm more so just i just want a game you know what i mean i just want a game no matter how good or not good i am at the game I'm trying to enjoy the, the game, all right? So if y'all are trying to enjoy the game, you know, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Um, I will be making that announcement on the 12th, at, you know, and changing the name um, to the channel. And, you know, again, everyone that is stuck, you know, with me through this entire time, you know, I really, really, really appreciate y'all. I know the video is now longer than what I originally intended, but I wasn't going to talk about in any of this um, in the original video. But other than that, y'all, I will see y'all next week, um, PlayStation 5, so stay tuned. I'm excited. I hope everyone is excited uh, as well. I hope y'all have a great weekend in shiz, and uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.